Today I'm at the Keithley and Worth Valley Heritage Railway. Today they're going to be running some heritage trains operating with their Black 5 steam loco and a BR Class 37. I start here at one of my favourite line side spots along the line. 37075 is leading the train bound for Ingrow West. Just a quick note that today's video and the services in it are running to the yellow timetable. However, Keithley Station is currently closed for engineering works, so trains will only run as far as the top of Keithley Bank. I'm very happy with the selection of images I got of 37075. Here is how they look after loading them into Adobe Lightroom Mobile. This last image I, however, did not edit at all as I was very happy with it as it was. When we came to the Diesel Gala, we saw 37401 absolutely storm through here. Right, so we have now come to our second line site location, taking a bit of a trek through the first, a nice walk. Here we are now at the location. This is a really good spot. Last time I was here, there was a horse. There's no sign of that here. We are now in position. We've got a lovely view of the viaduct behind us. Um, the videos are set up for all the cameras. It's going to be hopefully quite decent. Last time I went to the spot, I saw my favourite local 37403. And the Black 5 Steam local is going to be leaving this time. So it should be coming now. I've only just realised how different the railway looks compared to how it was in the summer. These shots of the Black 5 on the viaduct have come out fairly decently after loading them into Lightroom, especially this second one, which I wasn't a fan of before editing, but with some colour correction it looks absolutely stunning. After an impressive display from the Black 5 steam logo 45212, we drove to Howarth station to board the train when 37075 was leading. Something I noticed upon boarding the train was that it used the often forgotten steam heating system where a steam engine and in later cases a modified diesel would heat the train. This was done using a metal pipe that would run from the locomotive to the back of the train. This caused on some services for the front carriage to be extremely hot and the rear carriage to effectively not have any heating at all. We were then in for a nice bit of thrush departing Ingrow West. After 37075 blew off some of its cobwebs, we stormed through Ingrow West, this time leading with the Black 5. We had a nice bit of calm steam running down to Oxenhole. We passed the depot at Howarth where we saw the resident Class 144 Pacer. So I'm now at Oxenhope Station. We've just arrived in on board of this Absolute Beauty 37075. So I've come to the museum and I touched a buffer. Now I'm covered in oil. So uh, maybe I can find the toilet again. I mean, it's not that much of a task because I was just there, but I've got to get this off. Right, be quiet. It's just a bit of oil. Now try to get back behind the 37.
set step on the move. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Bus. That was a decent run down from Oxenhub, and of course I visited the museum and left this brilliant note. Back on the train now, I tried out this new angle with my tripod. Comment below if you think I should use it in the next video. We were back behind the steam engine, passing Dammums and heading for Oxenhoop. So I'm back at Oxenhoop again next to 37075 and we're going to be heading uh, back down to Ingram West for our final run today on the Keith and Worth Valley Railway. We rolled in and nearly stopped at Dammums. Here is our locomotive looking stunning in the sunset, but before long it was time to depart for our journey back up to Oxenhope to finish off the day. After the final large departure from Ingora West of the day, we went to the top of Keithley Bank where the Black Five led us fast through Ingora West again. so far to get here uh, to end today's video the class 37 37075 is going to be passing here heading to the depot miles today that brings my total up to 89 next mileage will of course be the elr diesel guard 